Hello. It's time for a new video. And this one I think gonna be good. I think. It's gonna be interesting, uh, for sure it's gonna be. I'm gonna make from that point, there, 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 all the way up there, and down, and back there. A trophy cabinet with glass doors and stuff. Oh yes. First of all now, I'm gonna measure out with laser and stuff to make it fit to that uh, support because this is gonna be the inside wall. The outside one is gonna be around here. So now I'm just gonna do a first a lot of measurement and stuff. All right, I'm done measuring up. I made a drawing too here on the welding table. I'm gonna make this bottom frame now. Then I'm gonna level that one up. And then I'm gonna build the rest on the top of this one, further on. The first cut is on. A few pieces are cutted. Now I'm gonna start like this, weld this corner together. The frame is done, but I almost forgot something here now, something important. I had to pick up here now before I mount the frame over here because from this water cabin I'm gonna have cold and hot water down here into that one down to the ground because there's a hole underneath there and over to there because later I'm gonna have hot and cold water on that wall. I have a grave for my cold and hot water. Fitting good. Use out those just to make it level. It's not so professional, but it's easy. I'm back. Half the day have gone, but uh, had to do different stuff again. Now I'm gonna level up this 100%. I think that's uh, good enough. Made those now. Now is it bolted two places. Inside there, I cannot do that because on in this floor, it's uh, heat cables. So for sure, if I drill a hole, I'm gonna hit the heat cable. I'm painting the inside of the trophy cabinet. First support is up and I painted black all the way where the inside of this uh, cabin is gonna be. But now I'm gonna go away and pick up some more materials I need, who I ordered. Here we have the materials. This is... Uh, 30.60.2 millimeters. Those are gonna use a support here on the outside between the glass. Now, <laughs> the DTM driver. Yes. Hey guys, Dennis Olsen is gonna drive DTM this year. The yeah. DTM, that's that's my huge dream. Det blir fett, <laughs> I made the top piece now. I'm gonna be on top of that frame. I'm gonna lift it on now. It's on top and it's fitting good. So I'm gonna weld it on now. It have been a couple of days now. Thinking a lot, planning a lot, drawing a lot. Because we was not sure about how to do this now, but now we find a good idea. So now I'm continuing with this uh, trophy wall. And what we decided, compared to the other solution we had earlier, I will show you later on. But now, I carry the first piece of going up to the second floor. This I'm gonna make another support for now, and we're gonna continue there. Here is a little bit of the progress of how I do it. First of all, I cut it in my machine over there. Then I clean it with the silicone remover. Then I sand it with my Mirka slipper with 120 paper. So it looks like that. Then I put primer, one component with uh, this one, Colormatic. When that's dry, I use my varnish, my favorite black mat. The reason why I do it is because it's easier to just put some paint very well done stuff later and everything is up than mask everything here and everything is up and paint it. 
So that's why I pre-paint most of it. Another one is done, painted and ready. This one gonna be here on the end. Here, next to this one. All the way up. When that one is up, we're gonna mount, mount well done. The piece we're gonna be up here to this point and then the huge long one across. Ah. Holy shit, this is an angle. I'm not just sure <laughs> how I'm gonna handle this piece after I <laughs> weld it together. This is huge. Guys, I wish I could teach you something about welding, what we're gonna do now. But I can't teach you anything about it because I don't know anything about it. I can manage to, to melt this together, but that's it, you know? That's it! Where is my pistol? There it is. All right then. What I did here now, or I always do it, I first melted it there, then I melted it there on the corner, and on that corner, and inside there. That's because now it's locked, you know? Now it's not moving anywhere. So let's say if I just put a weld there, and I weld it completely over, without doing anything on other places, it for sure, of the heat, gonna bend one or, one or the other way because it's shrimping very heated up but now is it it's not 100% it's going to be straight now but it's a bigger chance so after it's locked in each corner now I'm going to weld across it or I'm going to melt I'm going to melt it together Now, this is not difficult guys, I just just melt it together and it's everyone can do that actually. It's where it should be later on and it's fitting perfect. Only thing I'm going to do now when I take it down again is to weld on the piece we're going to be from there to here. So I don't have to weld up against the roof later on because that's going to be a mess. So now I'm going to take it down, weld on that one and then it's ready for paint. Here I can weld it on now. Now it should be perfectly angled up. After I welded one pointer now, it's important to check it because this is not keeping it too good. So it could have been moving. It hadn't, but it could easily have moved. But it's good, so we continue welding now. Sanding the corners. This piece here now is now painted on the one side. Now I have to turn it over and uh, paint it on the underneath side. This one is now welded on, also up there. And here in the middle, I need to have support. My plan, first of all, was to have like this one, 30, 30.2 millimeter square. But I also have this uh, 16 millimeter stainless steel uh, bolt. I think that's gonna look much cooler, or? It's a new day, Friday actually. Now I'm gonna make the support up here and from there across to that one. That's the next plan now. Then it's also this one ready to be welded. This one was fitting really good actually. <laughs> My brother is here. Morten, what do you think? It's big. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. For sure we have to do to drive yeah. more car races. Good. To feel this. We have to do a lot of more car races in the future. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have now also made this support. This support. I made a support there with bolt into the wood piece. So the next thing now is to make the support to to where the um, fauna hyller. I don't know what that's in English. Shelves is the name. You know where they're gonna have all the trophies and stuff. Because they're gonna have a support around there, 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 and there. Six of those. Here goes completely up to the roof, inside here to this roof. And we are preparing now because in those we're gonna make holes to have uh, this material, 16 millimeter stainless steel bolt. And I'm gonna be like this, so I'm gonna have holes on each 10 centimeters in those supports. Where I can move the, the pins, the bolts, so I can put the shelves in different places if I want, when I'm gonna build it up with trophies. So this is we actually preparing now. My brother here is helping me prepare this uh, Acer board machine. Yeah. And here we're gonna make the hose. And for you guys who don't know anything about uh, Oh, That's a Rolls Royce, Morten. Yeah. They are like the best. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was thinking about making this video in one long movie from start to the finish of the progress. But that's going to be too much. So we're going to end this video now. This is part one of this trophy wall. And the next one is coming when it's something more to show. So. Please subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Thanks for watching and take care and have fun so long to the next one.